Namaskar. You would have already read in pgurus.com the article about uh, the Indian government cracking down on the Omidya network for FCRA violations. About 30 plus people have been taken into custody. These people form many, uh, you know, they are in many uh, branches of the government. All the details you can get from the article whose reference link I have put in the description section. So this is just one part. Where does Pieri Omidya Network invest in? And that is the more important thing. And I'm going to share with you a presentation which tells you what are all the different media outlets that Omidya Network has been funding in India. Here we go. The first one, the most important one, I guess, is scroll.in. Now, this one has been funded by uh, Omidya for several years now. It is actually incorporated in Delaware. So Scroll is trying to be, you know, uh, having fit in both uh, places. Scroll is incorporated in the US, just like Gurus. I don't think anyone, any one of you know this because they don't make this thing public. But when you see comments on P Guru's videos, they will all tell me, you are a US citizen. Why do you care about Indian politics? Shit, I care. I care because I was born here. What excuse does Omidya have? He is a French Lebanese national. He was born in, I don't know where he was born in, but he was a French citizen. Then he moved to US. He founded um, EBA and made some money. And now he's also dabbling, not just in Indian politics, but also in American politics, as you will see. So Scroll is one big entity funded by these guys. There are more. Here we go. The other ones are News Laundry. Wow. That's another one that does a lot of interesting stuff in my opinion then you have white hat and then daily hunt that is another website that is you know uh, putting out a lot of news i believe that there are also some other organizations that are being funded by perio media networks but those are kind of kept under the wrap now the other thing that the omidya network does is he has an entity called omidya fellows i believe he lives in honolulu honolulu one of the bigger islands of uh, Hawaii population wise. And he is very active in Hawaiian politics. He's trying to bring about some changes, more power to him. But I don't know how much of um, an effect his uh, initiatives are appreciated by the Hawaiians. Remember that in Hawaii, you can no longer buy land. Any island in Hawaii, you can no longer buy land. You can only lease it for 99 years. So they was woke up like, you know, this is going to be overrun by Japanese and Americans and other people. So let us preserve our land. So they have this new law. I think it came into effect about 10, 15 years ago. Right now, the state of the affairs is you cannot own any property in Hawaii if you are not born in Hawaii. Anyway, the, the more important thing here is why is Mr. Pierre Omidya interested in funding only one type of narrative in India? Only he can answer. Sometimes, you know, it is not even the main person who does it because sometimes what happens is they go and pick somebody to manage their ventures in India and it's that person and their organization that perhaps picks and chooses which entity to fund and which entity to not fund. Scroll, I have, I've seen some millions of readers. I don't know who reads it. Clearly, there is somebody who drinks their Kool-Aid. News Laundry also is not a big impact player. However, once in a while, you will see some outrageous stuff from News Laundry also. And, and you get the idea here, guys. The left-leaning narrative is all over India. And, you know, people who are non-left, I'm not a right. I'm a non-left. I am a news organization. I tell you the truth as I see it. Always I preface it with my opinion because sometimes there's always some subjectivity involved. So that's why I say in my opinion. So in my opinion, there are there is Soros who's doing this. There is Omidya who's doing this. There is Bill Gates who does it in a slightly different way through Ford Foundation and Bill Gates and Melinda Foundation. And, and there are many people who want to do good by India. It's not clear if they are actually doing any good or if there are some unintended consequences because of their philanthropic efforts. You also must remember that Warren Buffett has given a, a large part of his inheritance to the Bill Gates. Warren Buffett has uh, donated in a big way to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. That money is also uh, being used by Bill Gates. 
The point I'm trying to make is India is a mature country. It doesn't need these handouts anymore. In fact, I would be so bold to say the Indian government can say, we don't need any funding. Anybody who wants to run a media outlet, go and find your funding right here in India, especially media. Remember that in the United States, there are very strict rules about who can own a newspaper or a TV station. Very, very important. They are very, very clear about this. And you have to be a U.S. citizen. And in some exceptional cases, you can be others. But you have to declare all the data. It's it's a it's a huge amount of procedural work that you need to do. You have to be clear. You have to be clean. I wish that kind of transparency comes into India also. And I'm still waiting for Mr. Pranoy Roy to be jailed for all the shenanigans he did in NDTV. The NDTV frauds book is still very valid. You have to get this big fish in because it is my contention, it is my opinion that several other TV channels have used the same route that this fellow did and, and therefore they all by extension can all be shut down. The number of violations is too large to mention here. You already know a couple of Tamil Nadu based outlets, uh, Kanimori went to jail for one of those things in the 2G scam. So there is copious amount of proofs. Uh, Mr. O.P. Saini, the judge, uh, comments notwithstanding that he found nothing. It, it, this is a joke. It's a cruel joke on India's justice system. Judge who is supposed to find what amount of uh, corruption each individual involved with 2G scam was, comes up and says he found nothing. The, the crime was established by the Supreme Court bench. It was already established that the money was stolen. The licenses were illegal. That's why the licenses were cancelled. And, and this fellow is the very shoddiest job I can think of. Anyway, this is being under appeal. Like everything else, the Modi government will take its own sweet time. First of all, the Modi government needs to communicate better if they are beefed up. NIA, CBI and ED. In my opinion, all those three organizations should be like three or four times the size of what they are and manned by professionals, not your police force. Please don't bring police force people and put them in here and say, okay, now these guys are all CBI. No, you need to go through a specialized academy. There are a lot of good instructors right here in India who understand how forensics is done, how investigations are done and use them to train them. Have like a Dehradun Academy for new officers of CBI, ED and NIA and start from there. Please do donate to our cause. There is a super friend button that is there at the bottom. You can donate from that. You can also like, follow and share our videos. These are available in many platforms, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter and so on and so forth. And also please click on the bell button for notifications. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you.